Here at WHO, we often honor our elders with a senior salute, senior citizen uh, pictures, and a special tribute to grandparents and great-grandparents across the state. Graduation is all everyone talks about, and we want to salute the senior class on the Iowa State football team. At face value, the 7-6 and six record is a disappointment, but only because of a senior class that laid the cornerstone to raise the bar towards excellence in Ames. The perseverance and motivation that these 23 seniors used to say, yes, we can, when so many probably told them as high school seniors, you can't win at Iowa State. It will still be shaking the Jack Trice Stadium bleachers long after they leave. The 20-13 loss to Clemson in the cheez Bowl certainly stings. Should Brock Purdy have slid instead of trying to gain extra yards before being stripped? Maybe. But isn't that will to fight for more when most would just be content a trait that may have helped the Cyclones kick the program out of mediocrity? All four of Iowa State's Big 12 losses this year were also one-possession games. Did the Clones choke in the end and squander what could have been another season with a New Year's Day bowl game? Or have these seniors created a program where beating Oklahoma is no longer a surprise. Matt Campbell and the Cyclones have gone to five straight bowl games in the last five seasons. That's nearly one-third of all the bowl games, 17 in the near 130-year history of ISU football. In fact, seniors Chase Allen, Jay Kummel, and Eni Uwazarike are the first to ever play in five bowls. Brock Purdy, from 2011 to 2018, Iowa State had never had a quarterback good enough or healthy enough to start every game in a regular season. Purdy ended that streak his sophomore year in 2019. The senior now leaves with 32 different school passing records, including career wins with 30. There's been just one three-time All-American to wear Cardinal and Gold. That belongs to senior tight end Charlie Kohler, with school tight end records for receptions and receiving yards in a season. There's a lot of senior talent walking out of the Bergstrom football complex, including linebacker Mike Rose, who was one of just two Cyclones to ever win Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. In 2020, defensive back Greg Eisworth became the first to earn all Big 12 first team three straight years. Now high-end recruits are noticing a strong bridge built off of those seniors' resilience in the face of adversity. The December signing period recruiting class comes in ranked 22nd in the country. That's the highest ranking for the program by a landslide, a future created by a culture, a newfound consistency, and this senior class. This Campbell era began with the phrase, a storm is brewing. Now beginning the season ranked in the top 10 and finishing 7-6 may point to rocky waters. But Cyclone fans, put on some shades. The future is bright.